weather changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Just relax a second. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Right, anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? 
over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. You're looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Night. Bandit. Light. Mother. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay. How about this one? Last one. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. You got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. That about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. 
I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. partner might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle don't mention it I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard it's all it looked like a bunch of bad eggs so I laid low once they'd run off I dug you up to see if you were still kicking turns out you were so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trails! Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, 
I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Be careful out there. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Be careful out there. That's close enough. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. 
We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Try to hurry. Three hours later. So what's going on? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. At least six, Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. 